Hello and welcome back to Cutleaf. My name is Scott and I run my own production company in the southwest of England. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I take my drone photography. I'm gonna show you how to take something that looks like this into something that looks a little bit like this, all on the Mavic Mini 1. Now I was hoping for a sunnier day and it's a little bit overcast, but we're not here to take pretty photos. I'm here to show you how to take them instead. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing before any flight, you need to ensure that your drone is good for flying, do a little test, bring it up, fly it around. And also you're gonna to wanna to check the UAV forecast as well to make sure that the day is good for flying. And as you can see here, it's a perfect day to fly. So let's go ahead and jump into the DJI Fly app. Okay, so once you've checked your flight conditions and everything and it's all good to go, what you wanna do is just get the drone up. You can leave it on auto settings for now and just whiz it out there to get started see some nice cruise ships in the bay at the moment i think we've got like seven to eight cruise ships i would attempt to fly out there on the mini but as we know the range just isn't that good maybe if i had the mini too though okay so the first photo we're going to take is of the breakwater beach now as you can see like i said it's an overcast day so it's not that bright so what we're going to do is just take up a little bit higher maybe to about there there we go and what you want to do is down the bottom here on the control pad is you wanna go ahead and go to manual settings instead, Ooh, if it works, in photo mode. Now, we don't wanna to touch the ISO because we don't want any noise to be added into the image. So the way we're gonna get the different exposure to shots is by changing the shutter speed. So as you can see here, by changing the shutter speed, we expose the photo differently. So what I'm gonna do is first things first, aim the camera downwards, and we want to capture some of that sea. We want to get the mid ground and we want to get the background and the sky in the image as well. So we're going to start down here with the sea first and just sort of get the uh, framing that I'm sort of after. That sort of looks nice there. Go ahead and we want to get those shadows first. We want to capture the sort of mid tones there. And then we're going to grab the highlights. I usually only do three photos for each separate image, but again, if you want to get even more information in the image, then you can go ahead and do that. So we're going to roll the camera up slightly, just to there. And again, we're going to get those shadows, maybe a bit more of the sky. And then we're going to go down. Get some of those details there and we're gonna roll it up even further and do the same again. So the process is as simple as that. Now, of course, on the Mini 2, this won't be as complicated because you have the raw capability, which holds more information in the image. But on the JPEG files with the Mini 1, we have to do it all manually, which is a little bit more tricky and a little bit more, uh, takes a little bit longer, but it's no worry at all. I'm just gonna have a little fly and we're just gonna see what else we can get on the one battery that I have on me today. Let's maybe fly out over. That's quite nice with the boats and the marina and maybe a bit of the harbor in the background. So we'll go as far as we can. So let's go again, like I said, capture the shadows. Grab the mid-tones and the highlights. Same process, roll the camera up.
So there you have it, it's as simple as that. Just remember to change the exposure settings to get those highlight shadows and midtones, and it's up to you on what composition you want in the photo. You can take, you know, three portrait, or you can take nine wide, so you can take photo, 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 photo. Like, it's entirely up to you on the composition side of things and how much of the image you want to capture. So yeah, if you did like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the sub button. I hope it was useful to you. So now you've got how I take my photos and how I edit them, and you've also got where I get my prints from. The next one will be all about setting up your Etsy store and starting to sell your prints. So that will come out next week. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you next week for another video. See you then.